Hi, this is Mike, a project manager with MintState.com. Today I'll be presenting a video tutorial on the Stack Tracker application. The website can be accessed from any desktop, tablet, or mobile device at MintState.com. This application requires you to have a free registered account. Just fill in the information and you're ready to use all the features. With the Stack Tracker application, you can track the value of your platinum, gold, silver, and copper, coins, rounds, bars, and other bullion with real-time spot pricing. You can start the application with the Applications menu, the Use Now button on the slideshow, or the Application Quick Links Stack Tracker button. If you have used MinState's Coin Collection application, the many of the controls here will be very familiar. But the Stack Tracker has many unique features for tracking precious metal purchases and their values. So whether you're a coin collector with those piles of searched coins, or you're a precious metals investor that needs an inventory and value tracking system, or a little of both, this application was designed specifically for this purpose. It's free to use and there's no limit to the number of records you can store. Here we can see the records for the silver coins category of my inventory. I can view my metal inventory categories of platinum, gold, silver, and copper, and within each metal the type of coins, rounds, bars, and others. To change the category to work with, I just select the options and hit apply. To view the report of my entire collection of metals, I can click the report button. The bullion stack report breaks down my inventory and sorts it first by metal category and then within that category the subcategory of type. Each category and sub totals the number of troy ounces, my acquisition cost, and its current value based on the metal spot price that is updated hourly. Within each category, the different inventory records are sorted and listed by the name that I gave it. Each record shows the name, when I bought it, what I paid, the metal composition of the inventory item, how many I have, the total number of ounces for that item, and the total metal value based on spot, and if I've currently made or lost money on the purchase. I can track my metals each time I purchase, or if I'm just interested in keeping a count without tracking each purchase, I can just create a record like I've done here for the Mercury Dimes, without a date, and just go and update the quantity each time I find one or purchase some for my holdings. The last line of the report shows my total cost, total number of ounces for all metals, their total current spot value, and my overall gain. This report can also be exported to either a PDF or an Excel spreadsheet. Let's see how simple it is to add a new record. I have recently purchased some more peace dollars. To add a record, I simply click the Add button, making sure I'm in the silver coins category of my inventory. You have the option to upload photos, but I usually only do this when it's the first of a record type. Since I already have another peace dollar, I'll skip this. But it's nice to pull open records on my phone and show the designs of new coins, rounds, and bars when talking to friends about them. By default, the name will be the category I currently have selected. You'll want to type your own name. I purchased these today from my local coin store. They are 90% silver. They weigh 26.73 grams, or I can enter the weight in Troy's. I paid $20 each and bought 18 of them. If I want to record additional notes, I can here. We're done, so let's click Update. The other buttons here allow me to edit or remove records, and I can also zoom in on the photos. There's also a Prices button that displays additional information. You can click the buttons to see metal pricing charts, see the current spots for grams and troys, and there's also a table for typical weights for common coins at different grades. If we go back to the report, we'll see my new record for peace dollars is now in the totals, and their value will always be updated as metal prices change. This free application and all the others at MintState are written for the collecting community. If you have ideas for our applications or features, we welcome your comments. Remember to like, subscribe, so you'll know when all the new features are released. And as always, thank you for supporting MinState.com.